Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do a full face of all of my favorite makeup products, which is hard because I have so many favorites. But this is going to be drugstore edition, which is no surprise. I am a drugstore girl through and through. I don't have a whole lot of high-end makeup that I use. I have a few items. I've been loving this Too Faced Born This Way concealer. Um, one of my favorite foundations is the NARS Light Reflecting Foundation. Another favorite is the Natasha Denona Foundation. So I do have a few high-end products that I love, but the majority of my makeup kit is drugstore. So I thought it would be fun to do a full face of all of my top top favorite makeup products and create a fall deep plum cranberry look. So if you are into this kind of thing, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. That means so much to me that you would take the time of your day or evening to watch my videos, support me and what I am doing here. It does not go unnoticed and I appreciate it so, so much. So with that being said, let's get into the full face of drugstore makeup. Okay, so it is no surprise if you've been following me for a minute, you know that my favorite two drugstore primers are the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer and the e.l.f. Power Grip that I actually use together. So let's go ahead and prime our face starting with the e.l.f. Power Grip. I love this primer, you guys. It is like Elmer's glue for your face. It does a really good job. It's a gel consistency. It just does such a good job. Like you can you can tell, like it just gives like such good stick. It makes your makeup stick to your face and last all day. And then I do like to fill in my pores with the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. And how I like, I think I've mentioned this before, but how I like putting this product on is you place it and swipe it onto your pores, everywhere that you wanna minimize those pores. And instead of kind of just, you know, shearing it out, you press it in to your skin. I've mentioned this before, it's kind of like filling in potholes. So place it where you want it to go and then just press it in and fill those pores. Okay, so I'm actually gonna be doing pretty soon a dedicated top favorites in every category um, video where I break down my top favorite primers, my top favorite concealers, my top favorite foundations, all from the drugstore. So that video is coming because obviously I'm not gonna use all my favorite drugstore foundations. I have several of them. So today I'm just gonna use the, my current favorite, the one that I've been using on repeat, cannot stop, won't stop. It is the Believe Beauty foundation. I can't get over how good this foundation is for $5. It's just so good. I can't stop using it. It's my current favorite. So we're going to go in with this Believe Beauty foundation and I am in the shade Sand. So just going to go in with this on a brush. It is just such a good lightweight foundation, you guys. It does not feel heavy whatsoever. I'll link the dedicated uh, Believe Beauty foundation uh, review that I did below in the description, but oh, I just cannot stop with this foundation. It feels good on my face. I just, I just love it. I think it's a really good foundation. Okay, going in next with concealer. I've been loving the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop concealer in the shade Golden. I really do like it, but I also love, love, love the e.l.f. Camo Concealer, the Hydrating Camo Concealer. Uh, but I've just been reaching for this one more often for some reason. So we're gonna go into this current favorite, which I have been using on repeat. Blend that out with a sponge. I'm telling you, you guys, if you are a beginner with makeup, it does not have to break the bank. It does not even have to be complicated. You can get some bomb products that will do the trick. It will get you where you need to go for a fraction of the dollar that you get at, you know, Sephora uh, and high-end brands. I'm telling you, the drugstore is hard to beat. The products perform and they do the job. So I love it. I'm gonna take this same concealer and pop it right in the center of my forehead, down the nose, up my smile line, and a little bit on the cheek. I just like to highlight these points this kind of gives a nice lifted look as well. I would love to hear from you guys what kind of videos you wanna see. I love being able to 
help people who are beginners in makeup. I actually do one-on-one -on -one, uh, consulting for beginners, those who want to get into makeup, don't know where to start, don't know, feel intimidated by you know, the techniques and whatnot. So it's fun to be able to kind of hold people by the hand and teach them the very basics, the 101 of makeup. But I would love to be able to hear from you guys what kind of videos you like to see. And this concealer, you guys, it just, it's so blendable. It is, it's really beginner friendly. It blends like a dream, like you saw that. It just completely blended out. It's so nice, really, really good formula. Okay, moving into contour. I told you already, I've been loving and using the uh, Born This Way concealer for my contour on repeat. Can't stop using it. But since this is drugstore, you guys probably already know it's like a broken violin. I almost don't know why I'm doing this video because it's the same products that I use over and over. But I am such a diehard fan of the NYX Wonder Stick. This is in medium tan. I'm just gonna contour my face. Take it down my cheeks, my lip, and down my nose. What I do for my nose is I will go down the bridge of my nose. And then once I get to the tip, I'll create kind of like a diamond shape. So one stripe there, one stripe there, and then up and up. So it kind of looks like an exclamation point. And then just blend all of that out. And I will take it up into my eye just a little bit so it'll kind of connect to where I am going to eventually place my transition shade for my eyeshadow. So just bring that right in there. Okay, now we're gonna bronze our face and kind of set with powder all of the areas where we put that contour. Going into my LA Girl Matte Bronzer. I really, really like this bronzer, you guys. I think it is such a good bronzer. This is the shade, is there a shade on this one? GBL 399 Sunset Glow. I really, maybe there's only one shade, I don't know, but it's a really good one. So just lightly dusting over where we put that cream contour. Okay, so for setting my under eyes, this was a hard one. I have a couple of powders that I like, but what I've been reaching for on repeat is just my e.l.f. HD powder in the shade Sheer. I just think it is such a good powder to set, to kind of, to make sure that there's no oil on my face. I retouch my face or I kind of blot out my, with a triangle poof, this is absolutely key to having flawless, smooth under eyes. If you are going in with a wet sponge, it's not it. <laughs> That's what I used to do and I just felt like my under eyes used to feel cakey and crepey and kind of end up separating throughout the day. A poof is where it is at. So just pressing that product in. You can go in with a banana shade if you prefer or there's some um, pink shades you can go in with as well if you are more fair. But this is just a really good universal shade. Put it everywhere where we brightened with concealer. And then I don't really bake anymore, you guys. I just kind of put it on there and then take my Real Techniques brush and just dust off the excess. So I just ran out of my most favorite eyebrow pencil, which is the e.l.f. Precise Brow Pencil. It's completely out. Drives me nuts because it's so good, you guys. But we're going to go in just with some black powder. Um, so let me put on my eyebrows and we'll be right back. Okay, brows are on. Let's get into the eyeshadow. So I have a couple of eyeshadow palettes that are so good. Like just some of my all time favorites. I might dip into a couple of them, but what I've been reaching for the most, I think are absolutely amazing, super affordable, is my e.l.f. Bite Size Palette. And I've been using this Milani Ungilded Most Love Mattes on repeat. So I'm gonna probably go between these two, but today I thought it'd be fun to do a bold fall time plum cranberry look. 
going into my e.l.f. bite size palette. This one is called Pumpkin Pie. This skin shade right here, it's kind of like a brown camel color. And just taking that into the crease. I forgot to prime my eyelids. We're just gonna go for it, it's fine. But usually I would prime my eyelids with a concealer and just set it with the same e.l.f. HD um, translucent powder, so keep that in mind. I haven't figured out um, a good drugstore eyeshadow primer. If you have one that is really good, let me know in the comments. Tell me what your favorite eye primer is or what you do to prime your lids. And if there's a product that I need to know about or try, I would love to know what some of your favorite drugstore uh, products are. Okay, going into the Milani palette, taking this bright orange shade on the same brush, and I'm just going to lightly dust that onto the top near the brow bone, and just blend those two shades together. I wanna to create kind of like a rust transition, so that way it can blend well with the plum and cranberry that we're gonna do. These two eyeshadow palettes, like I said, are so good. They are not expensive at all. They're just, they get the job done. You can do a whole look with these. This is a full matte palette, but these shadows are good everyday drugstore options. So I highly recommend these two. But for a plum look, I'm gonna go into my Pro Fusion palette. This is in Minimalist. This is such a good palette as well, you guys. It's only like, I wanna say like $13, but you get all of these shades and they are surprisingly really good formulas. I'm gonna start with this shade right here. It's kind of like a mauve brown tone. And I'm just gonna start fluffing this on the outer corner and just lightly dusting it. These are also really pigmented as well. It's a great formula. The trick with eyeshadow, you guys, is just getting, first of all, getting brushes that will help you and do the work for you. I feel like that is the number one thing I get asked the most is, how do you make your eyeshadow look this way? Or how can I make sure that this doesn't happen with my eyeshadow? It's all in the brushes. If you don't have a good brush, and when I say good brush, you can get good brushes at the drugstore, but your brushes really do matter because they really do the work for you. But investing in some good brushes definitely matter. And I have hooded eyes, so I have found that it's actually really important if you have hooded eyes, not to just always look dead onto your mirror, but take a minute and look upwards. You're gonna actually see some spots that are missing, that are bald, that you need to apply more color, um, maybe areas that you need to blend. Since this top lid does come down and fold over, looking dead on, kind of make it will kind of make you miss some areas. So don't forget to look up and pivot your eyes and pivot your head so that you can see where you need to add more color, especially if you have hooded eyes. And just take your time with blending. That is also important. Get the brushes that will do the work, but also make sure that you are blending and diffusing those colors too. I'm gonna go back into the Milani palette and I'm gonna take this shade called Don't Raisin Your Voice. It's kind of like a, it's a bit of a cranberry shade. I'm gonna take that on a more tapered brush and I'm gonna tuck this now into my crease, kind of where my socket is. Really press that color in. And again, don't forget to look up, move your head around. You can feel where your socket is and staying in that area. Now just take a clean blending brush and lightly blend all of those colors together and make sure that there's no harsh lines just by going back and forth and and just lightly making sweeping windshield wiper motions, blending all of those colors in. Okay, another favorite of mine is this ColourPop Super Shock Eyeshadow. I can't get over how good this is. I know it's not a new product, but these are just so good. If you wanna add a little bit of sparkle to your life, but you don't wanna break the bank uh, with something like Stila, which also makes fantastic products, but you can get the job done with ColourPop Super Shock Shadows. So this one is in the shade Secret Garden. The only con with this product is that if you forget to put the tap on, 
you've basically ruined it because it dries out really quickly. That's my only negative with this is that make sure that you don't forget to put the lid back on. So mine's kind of crumbling. You can see it's falling apart because I forgot to put the lid back on. So just don't forget that. But we're gonna take this shade on our finger. We're just gonna pack it into the outer third and into the middle, stopping right at the middle of my lid. This is so pretty. Oh my God. I would wear this for Christmas. I think this is just such a pretty fall and Christmas or holiday look. I cannot wait to start doing Christmas looks, you guys, on this channel. Ah. Oh. I can't wait. I'm so, like, you guys don't know. Like, let's do a chit chat. This has been a dream of mine. I've wanted to do makeup my whole entire life. My whole life. Since I was in high school, all I ever wanted to do was makeup, but I never pursued it because it didn't feel like the responsible thing. I just felt a sense of urgency to take a responsible job my whole life that would pay the bills. And for whatever reason, I never thought that doing makeup would get me anywhere. I just kind of had that in my head that makeup wouldn't pay the bills, so I never pursued it because uh, my whole life has been about survival, um, which is really sad because I ended up putting these dreams on the back burner. So um, I don't know. I just felt like, you know, this is my time. If this is my time, I'm a grown adult now. Um, so being able to do these makeup videos, I know I'm just starting out in this. I know I just started this channel but it means so much that you guys take your time to watch my videos because you're actually, every minute that you watch my videos, you are uh, encouraging a really deep dream that I've had since I was a teenager. So I appreciate it so much. Just taking that same blending brush and then just fusing together that outer eyeshadow with the ColourPop, just making sure that they melt together. You don't need to add any more product when you're doing this. You just take the dark shade into the glitter and it ends up blending well together. I'm gonna take this shade, Not So Vanilla, and on a flat brush into the inner corner and melt that into that glitter as well, just to brighten up that lid. And then lastly, I'm gonna go into another favorite palette of mine. You don't have to go and use all of these palettes, you guys. You can get it done with just one palette if it has all of the shades, but I love, I've talked about this so much. This is another ColourPop eyeshadow palette. This one is in the palette called Feelin' Bubbly. These are pressed powders and they are so good and pigmented. Going into this middle shade right here, this is called Noted. And I'm just gonna take this on my pinky. It's a really pretty pinky champagne color. And I'm gonna go on top of where we placed that matte vanilla shade and then just connect it to the Super Shock shadow that we just laid down. Okay, at this point now I'm gonna take a break from the eyes and we're gonna go into some blush. It's so hard because I have so many good blushes, you guys. I'm gonna try to like resist the urge to share all of my favorites. I need to do that dedicated video. The e.l.f. Putty blushes are so good. But today I'm gonna use one that I know is just so good and will actually work with this look. This is the LA Girl Soft Matte Cream Blush. These are fantastic, you guys. This one is in the shade Blissful. It blends beautifully. Put it on the back of your hand and then onto the brush and it just gives the most beautiful blush to the skin. It's just so good. Blush is on. I just love the natural uh, flush of color that this gives, but I'm gonna top it with a recent favorite of mine that I've been using on repeat, which is the Juvia's Place Duo Blushes. You guys, this is so pretty. These are so pigmented, less is more, very light hand if you are going to get something like this. But I'm gonna go into this cranberry shade and I'm just like, you need the smallest amount, you guys. I'm telling you, this is pigmented. So I'm just gonna top it, like look at that, like immediately a lot of color. I'm just gonna top the cream blush with this. Just take it on the high points of my cheeks. Okay, at this point now, all I'm gonna do is take a, take the same brush that we had, going back into my Pro Fusion palette, taking that first shade that we used, and I'm going to, I'm just gonna add a wash of color to my lower lash line, keeping it tight to where the lashes are, and 
and just taking that in about three quarters of the way and connecting it with our eyeshadow. I'm gonna add this brown shade as well to it and I am going to go on top of that shade. I feel like with a plum um, cranberry look, I feel like black is too harsh and a, a dark chocolate brown is where it is at. So just lining the lower lash line going on top of that with a brown shadow is so perfect for this look. At this point, I'm just gonna line my waterline with a brown coal liner. And I think we're gonna skip falsies today. I'm gonna line my lashes with the same brown eyeshadow and just press that product onto my lash line, keeping it really tight to the lash. I just love the way this looks. I'm gonna pop on some mascara and I'll be right back. All right, mascara is on. I originally didn't think I was going to put lashes on, but we're gonna put some lashes because I think it just calls for some more depth. This is really kind of like a glam look, so we need some lashes. We're gonna do it. I've been loving these Kiss lashes. These ones are in Pixie. I do have to cut them a little tiny bit. You can see that they do taper off, so this corner is for your inner lid. So I usually cut off the outer where it's a little bit longer. So let me do that, pop on these lashes, and I'll be right back. Okay, so much better with lashes, you guys. It's just, this is one of my favorite, favorite looks. Okay, we are almost done. I'm just going to add a little tiny bit of highlighter. A recent favorite of mine are these Milani Conceal and Perfect highlighters. I want to try their, their contours as well. They have deeper shades, but I have been loving, I have two of them. These are so good, but I've been reaching more for the Starbust, Starburst shade, I keep saying Starbust, Stardust. <laughs> more of a rose gold, and I think with my complexion, it just, it just looks better. So I'm going to put that right on the high points of my cheek in the middle of my nose, on the tip of my nose, and on my cupid's bow. I'm just gonna take my sponge and blend that in. These are so good, you guys. If you can get your hands on these, go and do it. They are fantastic. So lastly, we're just gonna do lips. I can't say I have like a favorite lip product. I actually just slap on gloss most of the time, but if I am putting on like a lipstick, I've just been reaching for that Believe Beauty lipstick. If I can find it, I'll show it to you guys. <laughs> Where is it? Where are you? I've just been going in with this, so let's just put this on. I'm gonna top it with my e.l.f. lip plumping lip, I can never say that, lip plumping, lip plumping gloss. I dare you to say it five times. But this one is in the shade Pink Sugar, and I really do like this lip gloss. I feel like it doesn't burn your lips at all. It's just really a tingle. It doesn't burn like crazy, but the flecks of gold in here and pink are just so, so pretty. And lastly, I finally found a setting spray from the drugstore that works, that I love. I cannot stop using this. It is the Milani Make It Last, their original. They have a couple of different ones like this. They have a dewy and they have one with sunscreen. It's in a white bottle. Don't get that one. It's not good, I promise, and it smells terrible. This one is their original and it's just so, so good. It really does keep your makeup on all day long. So that is the completed look, you guys. I hope you enjoyed my favorite drugstore makeup products and this fall time inspired look. I love this cranberry and plum look. It is my go-to in the fall. I just feel like it is so sultry and but very wearable as well. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to this channel if you aren't already. And I'd love to know what your favorite top 
best of the best drugstore products are. Maybe I've never used it and I would love to kind of add to my collection. So let me know what your favorites are. God bless you. I hope you have a fantastic day, whatever you're doing, wherever you are. And I cannot wait to see you in my next video.